Hey everyone, Complex back with another video and today, well today we are going to be talking about Railjack and specifically how to put out fires, how to repair the hull and to fix electrical problems that might happen when you're out in your Railjack mission. When I first started that was kind of one of the most confusing things and uh, was kind of overwhelming actually to be honest when I was out trying to complete Railjack missions. So today I wanted to walk you through everything that you need to know in order to have a, a successful repairing of your Railjack. So you're going to want to head over to the console and to start where it says configure Railjack and you're going to want to head over to the payload section. So the first thing that you're going to see in the payload section is called Revolite and you're going to want to build a lot of that. You can hold at least initially to start 300. Now what the Revolite does is it's actually going to be the material that either repairs your hull or puts out a fire or fixes the electrical problem. Now, when you get onto your railjack and you start a mission, you'll notice that in your gear wheel, you have an Omni there. That is the only time you can really access the Omni is when you're actually on your railjack. Now, Sai will let you know that something is wrong um, as far as like either there's a hull breach or a fire or something like that. So what you're going to want to do is equip your Omni and it's going to work very similar to a mining laser. So whatever you do um, key wise to make your mining laser work is what you're going to do in order to use the um, the Omni. Now for a fire, all you're going to do is just leave the Omni basically there and centered on it and uh, just hold down the button until it is completely the circle is complete and the fire is put out. And Sai normally lets you know, by the way, when the fire is put out. For something like a hull breach, though, you'll notice that the hull breach almost has a little shape to it. It's either a straight line or a little bit of a zigzag. And you're going to want to just use your Omni um, and follow the shape of it in order to completely put it out. Now, an electrical hazard works in a very similar manner to a fire. You're just going to want to hold the Omni there and let the... Um, the circle filling completely and that will put out the electrical hazard as well. You probably have noticed a number that is kind of under the Omni tool when I'm walking around. It's currently at 220 and progressively going down. That is how much of the Revolite you actually have left. So you can keep an eye on how much you have and if you need to create more. The other thing to note is that when your Omni is out, you'll probably have noticed that you can see various icons on my screen and those are where the different hazards or fires or hull breaches are located on the ship. Now, there are a few other things that you should note in order to have a much, much easier time uh, keeping the maintenance up on your railjack while you're out doing a mission. So first up, there is a forge on the railjack. It is located in the back of the railjack, um, kind of on the bottom floor. And you'll see it by the little yellow light um, in a circle. There are four of them, two on one side of this walkway and two on the other. If you interact with it, you will see that you can build pretty much anything that we could on the payload screen, including Revelation. So if you're going to be playing engineer and you're putting out all the fires and electrical hazards, make sure that you know exactly where to go. So then that way you can quickly and easily come back and... Um refill when you need. Now, something to note, though, is that there is only so many Revolite or really anything that you can make um, in the beginning, and it does take a little bit of time. There is a recharge time uh, with the forge. You can change that with the intrinsic system as well as the avionics. If you look at your avionics screen back uh, where we were at the beginning and you go under tactical, you can eventually get uh, mods that'll help with the forge cooldown time. There is one called Battle Forge and initially it will reduce the forge cooldown time by 30 seconds and you can progressively upgrade that as you go. So if that is something that is important to you, I'd highly suggest trying to get yourself a Battle Forge and upgrading it. Now, there is also within the intrinsic system an engineering class. Now, the engineering class is going to help us speed up the time it takes to um, put out fires and stuff like that with your Omni. And as you rank it up, you get more and more perks in order to make yourself more efficient, even uh, going as far as having the forge increase what it will produce for you when you go to refill like the Revolite or the munitions. So... If you are going to be playing mainly an engineer, that might be something that you want to upgrade as soon as possible within the intrinsic system. Now, the nice thing is your intrinsics do move with you. Uh, so no matter whose railjack that you're on, the intrinsics will always apply, unlike the avionics, which are ship specific. Now, last but not least, if you are going to be playing engineer for any amount of time, I cannot suggest enough keeping your map open. Keeping your map open will allow you to quite easily see where either a hull breach, electrical hazard, or even a fire is. 
that way you can kind of just efficiently go through and see and just get rid of all of the things that could well potentially cause your ship to blow up the other thing to note is that each of them do have their own icon and it is very clear to see in the map the other thing to note is that when you either have a hull breach or a fire sometimes you will get a catastrophic alert and that means that you have a limited amount of time to get either the fire put out or the hull breach fixed normally this revolves around hull breaches make sure that you're paying attention to that timer because if you don't get the either hull breach fixed or the fire put out in time it will cause a mission failure but y'all that is gonna be it for me hopefully this helped if you're having any trouble putting out fires and repairing hull breaches and all of that good stuff while on the railjack if you have any questions leave it in the comments down below or find me on twitch i do stream more for you at least once a week and always happy to help when and where i can thank you so much for joining me i hope you have a fantastic rest of your night and or day depending on where you are in the world and i will catch you next time bye guys Thank you.